everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for Britney Spears' makeup on the cover of her new single which is called Hold It Against Me. She looks absolutely glowing, her skin is very kind of dewy looking with contoured cheeks um, and she's got a very natural kind of shimmery eye with really gorgeous lashes so I'm going to show you the look close up. Okay so this is the finished look, I hope you guys like it and I'm going to get into the tutorial. Okay, to start you're going to want to apply some foundation, which I've already done, and a primer if you use one. I've used Smashbox Photo Finish and Chanel's Pro Lumiere in 20, just because Britney's skin in this ad looks really glowy, really nice, and I think Chanel Pro Lumiere is a good choice. Also concealed any redness, I used Sonia Kashuk's um, Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette, so I've skipped that part just to make it a little bit quicker. And I have done my right eye, if you can see. So if I zoom in, and we will do the eyes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply Max Paint Pot in Bare Study as a base. Mine's a little bit dried out, but I'm just going to pat this onto the lid using my ring finger. And then I just apply what's left on my finger to my brow bone as a highlight there. And make sure you get it right into your inner corner of your eye as well, just to highlight that area. And then the eyeshadows I'm going to be using is a duo from Hard Candy. And these are, this is called High Maintenance, and it's a shimmery kind of neutral colour and then a dark shimmery brown. Now, you can use any eyeshadows that you want to create this look, anything similar to this. I mean, they're very easy kind of colours to find. I really like this duo but I think it's only available in America because it was a gift from Ingrid a while ago and I'm taking a MAC 217 and just taking the lighter colour and applying it all over the lid and then especially just concentrate on that inner corner as well because you really want to highlight that. And then again take what's left on your brush and just put a tiny bit on your brow bone there. And then I'm going to use the same brush, take the other side and get some of that darker brown colour and then I'm going to put this in a straight line. Instead of going kind of round with my socket line, I'm just going to go in a straight line like that. And then just start to blend that downwards towards the lash line and across. And then once you've done that, I'm going to take a clean 217 while cleaner because I use this for the other eye too. And then just blend that top line out a little bit. Okay so once I've done that I'm going to take a pencil brush, this is a Sigma 219 and use the same brown and just run that under my lash line all the way just to where the lashes start there. So next I'm going to take a brown gel liner. This one is from Cosmetics a la carte and it's mushroom but you can use any gel liner that you like and I am using gel liner because I'm going to apply it to the tight line and if you use coal on the tight line and then a different colour because we're going to go in with a lighter liner on the bottom lash line um, if you use coal they'll mix and you'll get a kind of grey colour so just lift up your lid and just line that with brown like so. And then when you've done that, I'm going to take um, a flesh-toned eyeliner. I'm using Max Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20. And I'm just going to line the waterline with that. And then the last eyeliner, I promise, I'm going to be using a brown pencil. And the one I'm using is from Michael Todd, and this is in Brown Spark, which is a dark brown with silver glitter in it, which is really, really pretty. And I'm just going to use this to line the upper lash line just quite loosely. And then what you want to do is just take a clean finger and just gently smudge that into the upper lashes. So when you've done that, I'm just going to take the same brown underneath the lash line where we took the brown eyeshadow all the way to where the lashes just about start and that's going to make your eye look bigger. The next thing I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes first like so and then apply a little bit of mascara. I'm using Max False Lash which I actually like more and more each time I use it. When you're doing the lower lashes, the dogs are barking like crazy. Just push them slightly away from the corner of your eye, just to clump them together a little bit. If you look at the picture with Britney in it, 
she does have kind of clumpy lower lashes. So when you've done that, the falsies that I'm going to be using are from Ardell and they are the Invisiband Wispies in black, which look like this. Very natural. Um, these are probably actually my favourite false lashes that I use because they are just a lot more natural than the very, very thick ones. Okay, so then I'm just going to apply these. Okay, so that is the eyes done. Very dramatic, but really, really pretty and neutral. Very wearable, not kind of scary like some of the tutorials on YouTube, or some of the ones that I've done at least. So I'm going to zoom out again, and then we're going to finish off the face. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, I've already applied a foundation and concealer. What I'm going to do now is apply um, a highlighter, and I'm using NARS's Orgasm Illuminator. Now this is just a sample one. And I'm just going to use this with a blush brush. So I'm just going to apply this along the cheekbones and then up slightly there and then on the other side. This is just really pretty, it gives you a really nice peachy kind of glow. After that I'm going to take Hoola bronzer which has come out of the pack because I had it in a palette and a contouring brush. This is Sigma's F25 tapered face brush and I'm just going to contour my face slightly. And then I'm also just going to take a little bit down the side of my nose, just to slim my nose down. My eyebrows, I'm just going to comb through them, but push them slightly upwards. Brittany's look kind of slightly just groomed, but slightly kind of unkempt in a way as well. So I'm just going to push them slightly upwards to make them look a little bit on purpose messy kind of look. And then for lips, I'm just going to use a gloss. Britney's got really kind of neutral but slightly golden shimmery gloss and I think this one is perfect and I'd actually forgotten how much I love this. It's YSL's Golden Gloss in, I think it's number 10, the label's kind of slightly rubbed off but I think it's number 10. And I had totally forgotten about how delicious these actually, I would say taste but you don't eat them so I guess smell. This is just a very very sheer light pink with gold sparkles in it. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to take my hair down. Okay, so that is my Britney Spears Hold It Against Me look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any requests at all, please let me know. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye.